Please enjoy Grumpy Monkey Up All Night by Suzanne Lang and illustrated by Matt Lang. And thanks to our publisher, Penguin Random House. Happy reading! Early in the evening, just about supper time, Norman heard a whole lot of hooping and hollering next door. What's the ruckus? Norman asked his neighbor, Jim Pansy. I'm so excited, Jim explained. I'm going to sleep over at my parents' house. My whole family will be there. Mom, Dad, and my big sisters, Ann and Nan. Who's that? asked Norman. Oh yeah, my little brother, Tim, grumbled Jim. But never mind, it'll be fun. Sleepovers are a good time, Norman agreed. Jim talked about all the great things he would do. First, we'll go termite fishing. Next, we'll tell scary stories. Then we'll have a midnight feast and wash it down with some jungle punch. I wouldn't drink punch too close to bedtime, Norman advised. Bedtime, exclaimed Jim. Nobody sleeps at a sleepover. We're gonna stay up all night. Sounds fun, said Norman. Mind if I tag along? A little later, they arrived at the tree where Jim's parents lived. It's my little grumpy monkey, Jim's mom cried as she gave him a hug. I'm so happy to see you. Mom, moaned Jim, I'm not little, and I am not a monkey. I'm an ape. Jim's mom smiled and ruffled his fur. But you sure are grumpy, she said. No, I'm not, Jim scowled. I like your mom, said Norman. No, Fairy, you didn't say we could bring a friend, said a voice coming down the path. Who's that, asked Norman. Tim, explained Jim's family. I thought you said he was your little brother, said Norman. I had a growth spurt, said Tim. What should we do first, asked Jim's mom. Everyone's answering at once. Termite fishing, pick fleas off of each other, bob for mangoes. I know, said Tim. Measure each other to see who's tallest. Maybe our guests should choose, suggested Jim's dad, turning to Norman. It's a tough decision, said Norman. It all sounds fun. Don't worry, said Anne. There'll be plenty of time to do everything because we are going to stay up all night. I don't know, said Jim's mom. Staying up all night could make for some very grumpy monkeys. And then the games began. Termite fishing. Flea picking. Bobbing for mangoes. Scary stories. It was a dark and stormy night, said Jim. Tim trembled. Your brother's scared, said Jim's mom. Why not tell a happy story instead? Midnight feast. Hey, you have to share the jungle punch, but you didn't share the bananas. Staying up all night. It's really dark, said Tim, looking around. Because it's night, snapped Jim. Are you grumpy, asked Tim. No, said Jim. Just then they heard a noise. Ra! <gasps> Thunder, shouted Tim, and his eyes went wide. Oh no, now it's dark and stormy. Don't worry, said Jim. It's just Norman snoring. He does lots of funny snores. Sometimes it sounds like ra, 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 ra. And sometimes it sounds like <sighs> Tim laughed. Other times it's like a ah-wee, ah-wee. Jim and Tim laughed and laughed all night. As the sun came up, Tim fell asleep. Good idea, little brother, said Jim, and he tucked Tim in and he laid down. But just as he was about to close his eyes. Good morning, my monkey, sang Jim's mom. Mom, we're not monkeys, we're apes. I prefer gorilla, but yeah, ape works, said Norman. Oh, Jim, I told you staying up all night would make you grumpy, said Jim's mom, ruffling his fur. I'm not. You'll always be my grumpy monkey, whispered Jim's mom.